If a cubed plus 27 is equal to a plus 3 times a squared plus ma plus 9, then m equals... So this question literally takes like two seconds if you recall the difference or sum of cubes formula, uh, which I have written out um, beneath the question here now. So if you look at this, right, uh, you can just, you know, compare. If I have a to the 20, uh, a cubed plus 27, and this is directly the same thing as a cubed plus b cubed because 27 is uh, a perfect cubed, we can then recognize that b is actually equal to 3. And since a cubed plus b cubed is equal to, um, is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared, right? We can then conclude, I'm going to use a different color just to make it stand out that this will then turn into a plus 3 times a squared minus 3a plus 9, right? So if you look at this, what will m equal to? m, therefore, since we have, and I'm going to erase this just to make it stand out again. Uh, since we have in the problem here a plus 3, a squared plus ma plus 9, and we're asked to find out what m is, can you see that m is actually equal to negative 3? Right? But again, um, if you knew that, this problem would have taken like two seconds. Uh, but if you didn't, okay, there's an alternative way of figuring this out. And actually, I prefer this alternative way. So I want to spend like maybe like 30 seconds talking about this. So let's say you don't remember any of this, right? Let's say you don't remember any of this. So I want to erase all of this. Okay, and uh, I do the following. I distribute, okay, I FOIL a plus 3 with a squared plus ma plus 9. I want to do that first, okay? So what am I going? So how will that look? Uh, I will end up with a cubed plus m a squared plus nine a right plus three a squared plus three a m plus twenty seven. So if I take this, okay, and try to combine like terms together, I notice that I have a squared and 3a squared. And, um, well, that is just, uh, that is 4a squared. I'm sorry, not 4a squared, what am I doing? I have a cubed plus ma squared plus 3a squared, right? So if I combine ma squared and 3a squared together, well, I'll end up with is m plus 3 times a squared. And then I have 9a plus 3am, right? So that would be plus, uh, what is that? I have a common factor of 3a. So it'll be 3a times m plus 9, no, I'm, I'm, I'm plus 3. And then finally plus 27. Now all of this is supposed to equal a cubed plus 27, right? So look at this. If all of this equals to 27, wait, I have a cubed on both sides, don't I? So if I have a cubed on both sides, then they cancel and the 27s cancel. What am I left with? I'm left with m plus 3a squared plus 3a times m plus 3 equal to 0. What would m have to equal to in order for all of this to equal to zero? m must equal to negative three. Because if m was negative three, we'll end up with negative three plus three times a squared plus three a times negative three plus three, and this will all go to zero. Honestly, I prefer doing it this way because um, to be honest with you, 
I personally do not have the difference of cubed or uh, sum of cubes formula memorized, but I recreate it, okay, when I need it, okay, but I, I use other algebraic techniques uh, to avoid having to memorize so many things.